I've been, so, you haven't been out of the loop. I've been doing it for the whole year. I, I you said next Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let me turn the recorder on so we can be. Ladies and gentlemen, let me call this meeting to order. This is the April meeting for the Valley Lowndes County Zoning Board of Appeals. For those of you that may have never been here, let me explain how we operate so you can keep up with us. I will call each case by case number and case name. Staff will come to the lectern and give us the rundown on the case. Once they have given us the information, there is possible there will be questions and discussions among the board members back and forth to staff. Once we're satisfied we have got the information that we need, I will ask if there are any persons here in support or if the applicant is here and would like to give any information. If there is someone here, please come to the lectern, give us your name and address for the record, give us the information you would like for us to take under advisement. Once you have given your information, again, there will probably be questions and discussions from the board members. Once we feel like we've seen that side or heard that side, then I will ask if there are any persons here in opposition or if there is any person here that has questions as far as what's being requested. We will then listen to that side. Please come to the lectern. Give us your name and address for the record. Once we have heard both sides, we will attempt to render a decision here today, which is normally the case. However, we do have the uh, right within the bylaws. If we feel like information is lacking or parties need to talk, we can postpone until the next regularly scheduled meeting if we feel like we need to. If there are people that wish to come to the lectern to give us information, please give us the information in its entirety as best you can so that we don't have to have a rebuttal and a re-rebuttal back and forth. Also, if you have not signed in on the back table, if you would please sign in on the back table for us so we have a record of your presence. And I put a pen back there, that'll help. Thank you. Okay, first case that we have on the agenda is VAR 2013-03 for Roger Bud Jr. at 1000 Lakes Boulevard, Lake Park. Is there anyone here from Roger Bud Company for that case? Okay, please note the record. I'm going to move that case to the end of, end of the agenda to see if somebody's just running late. 
The next case we'll call is DAR 2013-04, Ben Fudge, 5443, Denelli Drive North in Lake Park. Yes, sir. Um, to pull it up on the screen, Mr. Fudge ultimately at the end of the day is asking for a variance request to two variances, one dealing with the side yard setback and the other dealing with the total amount of square footage for an assessor. For this particular request, you can see in his application he asked for three. Because it's an accessory building, he doesn't need the third, which is the rear yard. So for consideration today, it's just the side yard setback variance and the total square footage for an accessory building. We put together some facts and background uh, with the packet. We have some slides in case you'd like some additional information. Ultimately, at the end of the day, um, for 261 votes for approval of each of the variances, the side yard variance wasn't a total approval. The side yard variance was a recommendation to go down to eight feet rather than five feet. Uh, I do believe the applicant is aware of that and does plan to speak to both requests. But with that, I'm happy to answer any questions you might have. And the background, we do believe it's ready for consideration should you choose to do Okay. Any questions or discussion from the board at this time for um, the board? Mr. Fudge, would you like to add anything? If I may, please. I'm on Ben Fush, 5442, Dan Hennett. Matt? Yes, please. Go ahead, Alex. Try to be as brief as possible. <coughs> There's some pictures uh, yeah. behind it, but um, let me uh, let me address the uh, the setback um, request that we had for a ten foot uh, rear yard setback, and we get out the back here. Uh, I was under the understanding that we had to have a third, and then I went and reread, and I remembered that with an accessory building, it can be 10. Yes. Residents, it would have to be 30, and this is an accessory building that we're going to build. So, if, granted, if we're granted, we can build a accessory building, 10 foot rear yard is fine. Yes, sir. There's no problem there. Okay, fine. The, the, the second, Variance we had asked was a five foot variance on the, on the left side here, where and we understand it's a, it's a ten foot setback in the uh, in the uh, rule. The reason that we wanted five feet on this side, and that stores Mr. Sloan's property, was to be able to come around the right hand side because we did plan a 60 foot wide building but we wanted to come around the right hand side to access a lot behind it that we own also quite frankly i don't know if both right here two boat right and and rather than driving all the way back around schoolhouse pond and coming in that way i wanted to just have enough room to pull in pull it beside that building and with the 60 foot and it being a 75 foot lot, it, it pushed me farther that way. Uh, on the uh, handout that I gave you, the, the highlighted in blue shows the area right there that we wanted to drive around. So we asked for five feet. The, uh, the next phase, picture two, is a uh, what we're doing down on, on our on our property now that we're building a couple of houses now out of on the lake. And the, the great house on the right is, is 5442 Dan Gabby where my wife and I reside. And this lot across the street, picture number three, this is where we built the new house. This is the old area. So the house there, we built a house there. But this lot across the street is, is here where we want to do the accessory building and we don't have a lot of depth on where our home is now, and we don't have room to build an accessory building over there, so we want to use the lot across the street, which is adjacent to us, 
the building, the accessory building, and we understand that it's a lot of record and that we can build a home there, we can build a residence there, but that's not what we need. We need an accessory building and the size, the size of it is, um, I want to build a, you know, a, a minimum of two uh, garage doors, openings in their base in there to put a, a, a water draft in there and a couple of vehicles in, in that space. The uh, pay off pictures four and five are Mr. Sloan's property right beside us right here, which he's built picture four, he's built a real nice building there. And and you can see his his bays and his and his doors there. Um, and that's basically what, what we in, want to do, but uh, we, we want to aesthetically it will blend in with what we we're building across the street colors and make everything match. Um, and it, you can see picture five right there with Mr. Sloan's property, the rear of his, and how we've got it landscaped around it. And there's buffers already in place. And pictures on, on page six, forgive me, my printer ran out of ink. But um, these are some existing storage facilities here, here, and another one down here uh, that are on Danielle Drive in our right adjacent, I mean right in our neighborhood, that people who, who own property on the lake and have built houses on the lake, they're using, they're using the lots across the street uh, for accessory building. So there's a trend in that, and uh, and then every, everybody seems to be happy with what everybody else has done. Uh, we, we've never had any problems with what our neighbors have uh, done with their utility buildings and uh, I haven't heard of any objections to what we plan to do. So uh, the the 80 the the five yard setback that we're asking for the variance um, we can have an administrative variance and give us 20% is that correct, Dick? Yes, sir. So it's a 10 yard, the rules, uh, excuse me, 10 feet. It's a 10 foot setback. Y'all can give us 20, 20% of two feet, so we can reduce that to eight feet administrative. Um, and I read your report and y'all's determinations on this. Um, and it says that. Uh, Bylaw to be able to do that. That's right. 
at the same time, if the board did not, for instance, grant anything, said you got to go 10, that does not close the door on you going back to staff and saying, hey, can I get paid? No. I'm not trying to make too much out of it. I just want to have a good understanding. But and I'm not trying to be adversarial. But we're, we're requesting five foot period. Understand. On that. Thank you very much. Well, don't go anywhere. Any questions? A couple of questions. Uh, my first question is the building to your west. Do you have an idea how far it is from the property line? Approximately 10 feet. Okay. So it, uh, no, so no, the, the, the rear yard is approximately 10 feet. Uh, the, 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 no, side no, the side yard to you. The side yard to me. I, mean, I, I was trying to look at the picture, and you really can't tell. I didn't know whether it was less than 10, and if you had any idea how much less May than I ask someone in the audience? Sure. Mr. Sloan. I think it's 10 feet. Yeah. Okay, so ballpark He's 10 on. feet. Yeah. Okay. It's 5 feet above you. We'll get to that in just a second. Right. Listen, we get to the car. I ain't give a plug in. <laughs> okay. 10 uh, feet, slash. Just. And again, this is just one of these questions that I feel like needs to be asked. Is there a reason why the building can't be turned and make it meet the setback? Yes. Okay. Maneuverability right. of backing a boat trailer in that building. Okay. That's and that's the same. That's the same reason that we wanted the ten feet in the back. If that would have been a variance issue, right, so which now we. Your doors. Maneuverability, pulling in here and backing in here and backing in one of those bays. Okay, so but that's, that's the next thing I was going to is you're planning on putting the bays facing on, the road. Facing the road. Just like Mr. Sloan. Okay. And the access to the back side of the building is just for landscape maintenance or whatever? The access to the back back here is I own that lot right there. Right. We own that lot right there. And of being able to come back around this building and go back into that lot and put some trailer, trailer back there. But it, should at some point in the future somebody came to you and you sold that lot, sure. then it would still give you access to the back side of that to maintain landscape. Yeah, I could get back I could get back in behind it and you know and, and maintain that area right there really. Okay. What what is your building is drawn at 60 by 40. Is right. that, are you planning on building a pre-engineered building like the one next door? I do not plan on building a pre-engineered building, but I, but I want to reserve that option. Okay. And that's the reason I, I plugged in the 40 by 50. I mean the 40 by 60. Okay. I wasn't sure what was driving the size of the building overall at 60 feet wide. Is it Was it three? The bays. The bays. The bays. The bays and then, and then off to the side. To give, to give the terminology, the man gave. You know, I think y'all, I think Ms. Waterman ain't going to understand. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking, I, I, that's a heavy big building. How many boats are you going to put in there? Well, I don't know. Uh, there's not the one boat that would go in there and the Jeep and then one vehicle. So how wide is but that? But you're talking, you're, talking, you're talking about needing to, to get in there in, in a nice space. You need to so put them on the 20 feet for a base. So you're having 20 feet. Base. Yeah, 20 foot base and off to the side another 20 foot area in there to put some storage. And I'm, I'm thinking I can put everything I own in that. <laughs> <laughs> and just for the record, do you have any idea of what your eave height is going to be? No, maximum 14 feet. Mm -hmm. I've got to, I've got to have, uh, I've got to have that because we're going to have to have 12 foot overhead doors. Uh, put, that, put that boat in there. For so you got okay. to have two, two doors like the one next door yes. and then a something. Yes. Any other questions, discussions? Thank you, Mr. Fudge. Thank you. Thank you. Has anyone here supported this application? Do you have anything you want to add or do you just want to be here to support it? Just, well, can I get your name and address? Yeah. Jimmy Griffiths, 5305 Daniela Drive North. Uh, my wife and I have lived there for 48 years and uh, we have no problem with anything Ben would, would put there because we know he would put anything there detrimental to the neighborhood. And okay. That's all. Any questions? Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. 
<clears throat> William Sloan, 5439 Daniela Drive, which has been said, I have the property right on the west side of that, and I have no objection as to what many plans to do there. Okay. Thank you very much. Any questions or discussion? Okay, I think you've got it in front of you, ladies and gentlemen. Any other discussion before I call the question? I'm sorry. Is anyone here in opposition to this case? Was there any contact that you're aware of to your office? Yes. Down for about this. Yes. Okay, thank you for the correction. Uh, any discussion before I call the question? Can I get a motion on this question? I'll make a motion we accept the five foot setback. I have a motion on the floor from Mr. McCall to grant the request as presented five foot setback, five foot variant. Is there a second? Second. Second from Mr. Gaskins. All in favor, please raise your hand. Now it's been good luck with it. Please make it look good. Thank you. I get the build the size building also. Is Sir? the building size okay also? Was that one was that just a setback? Well, we were just talking about the setbacks sure. at that point. It's two the variance. I know there's two, the there's two separate building. things. Yes. And I'll amend my motion to approve the this make a motion to approve the size of the building also. Can we amend the motion after it's already been done, Mr. Alvarado? Or do yes. we need another motion? I don't I think you can make another motion. Let's have another motion then. Mr. Motion. McCall makes a <laughs> second, second motion on this request for the uh, variance to the size of the building. Second. As presented. Yes. I have second from Dr. Housel. I think he beats you that time. <laughs> That's for increased size as presented. To increase the size as presented to 694, 2400 square feet. All in favor, please raise a hand. Unanimous on the size 